it. Now. What is it? Uh -uh. See, look. Look at what my school mother bought for me. See, a dress, mirror. Hey, it. My own school mother bought for me a wristwatch and a phone, iPhone for that matter. See. So, which one is so? Look, you don't know what you are missing. You are missing a lot. I'm missing nothing, I beg. If you two excuse me, I have things to do. Mira! Mira! Uh, Mira, listen up. You know we are your friends, so we cannot mislead you. <laughs> if this is about having a school mother talk again, I've told you. I'm not interested. I will not engage in it. Are you hard of hearing, Ada? Uh -uh. Madam, be coming down now. Someone is trying to help you and also protect you within and outside school. And you are here shouting. <laughs> eh? Well, look at the way my own school mother lavish me with a lot of gifts, even has. Exactly! That's what school mothers do. They protect, help, guide and care for you handlessly. Why not allow senior me? I have a mother at home. I don't need another mother here in school. I came to school to study and not to start having school mother. If the two of you will continue with this talk, I'm sorry you have to stop talking to me forever. Uh -uh. Who even want you, sir? I wonder. <laughs> Hello, Jesus. Please meet me. I want a school model. Please, ma'am. Confirm again that you know the disease. Yes, I know her. That's my only daughter. My only child. God, I'm finished. Sorry for your loss, madam. Please put yourself together. Yes, ma'am. We need you to pull yourself together. Because we have a few questions for you to answer that would help us with our investigation. Okay. On the surface, what happened to your daughter was a clear case of suicide. A razor blade was found by her side, which means she must have caught her blood vessels with it. Oh my god. And bled to death. What? Such an act must have stemmed from an acute depression of some sort. Was everything okay at home? Honestly, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Your daughter. Your only child was found dead by the roadside. Covered in blood and you say you have nothing to say? Think again, ma'am. What was your relationship with her like? Uh, Mother-daughter, good relationship. I tried her as much as I could not to scold her more than necessary. I provided her with everything she needed since her father. My husband died and left us behind. She was actually five when he died. Okay. Is there anything you would like to tell us? Maybe her change in attitude, behavior, mood swing, anything at all? What do you mean by you don't want to go to school? Have you lost it? Mom, please. Please, don't mom me. Hmm? What is 
is the meaning of this? What is this sudden change in behavior? Whatever it is, I don't want to know about it. I am getting fed up, okay? Please listen to me. Listen to what exactly, Mira? Hmm? Your recent excuses for being uninterested in your school's academic activities. That is what you want me to listen to? I can see you're becoming a little ungrateful, Mira. After everything I am doing, working day and night like a slave to make sure I provide you with the best of everything, including your education. This is how you want to pay me back, by being a dropout, just a few weeks to your wire. Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry, my boy, you won't understand. If I close my eyes and open it and you're not by your school gates, you'll see what I'll do to you. I don't want to come back here and see you. Hmm. Why would she want to drop out of school all of a sudden? I don't know. I'm so surprised because Mira was always among the best three in her class. But a recent report card showed a decline in performance. Even the principal noticed it herself. Thank you so much, Mr. Pastor, for stopping by. I really appreciate it. You are welcome. Honestly, we are worried. The decline in Mira's recent academic performances is a great proclivity. She used to be the, one of the best in her first two years of joining us. Junior Wayek is not far off. Why now? I tried to talk to her in school, but she would not say anything. Maybe you need to give her another talk. I will, I promise. Please do. You are her mother, and I'm sure she will open up more to you than she would to us. Okay? But remember to put her in line, like the dear mother that you are. I understand, Principal. Okay. I will do just that. That's good. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're welcome. Check in. Can you go today? You too, ma. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Mira, what is the problem? What is going on with you? You can't talk to me. Is this about dad? Are you still grieving over him after all these years? Though I miss him a lot, but that's not it. Then what is it? Yeah? Then what? Did you tell? So you care about me? What was that supposed to mean? Are you implying that I don't care about you? When was the last time we both had the real conversation, like mother and daughter should? When was the last time you cared about my well-being? Or what happens to me? Well, Mira, but you know I work, right? I work every day to provide for you and I, to put food on the table for you and I. So that's all there is to it, putting food on the table for me. Hey, don't speak to me like that. Don't be ungrateful. There you go again, shutting me down. Next we know it, you walk out in the middle of our conversation. Mirabel! I'm fine, mom. Keep working hard for us. But what about your academics? I've told you. I don't want to go back to that school. It's a horrible place. A what? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by your school is a horror place? The school is a horror place. Why did she say that? I have no idea. Her school is ranked among the best five schools in the state in terms of moral and academic excellence. Children of the rich, high and mighty all attend that same school. Whenever the results, the Y and Nicole result comes out, the students of that school are always the best when it comes to grades. Even their PTA is the best in the country, so I don't know where she got that information from. I don't know. But um, after the statement from her, did you bother to ask some really hard questions? Because 
It is obvious there was something wrong somewhere for her to have made such statements about the school. Yes, I did. I did. I had a chat with the principal. <laughs> My school, a horror. You don't need a prophet to tell you that this school is one of the best of the best in this country. She should look for another excuse and give you. I know about that. That's why I'm so confused. Hmm. For the records, are you aware that prior to the day I came visiting, your daughter has been exempting herself from school? What? That's impossible. I mean, she leaves home every day to school. The report has it that nobody sees her in school. If you doubt me, check her classroom. Oh my God. Mm. Go ahead and check. Can I be accompanied? Yes. Teacher Jelly will show you the way. Just okay. walk me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Coming from school, of course. Which one? Because I was at your school and you were not there. Again, I ask, where are you coming from? Why are you doing this? Why? Because I've told you I don't want to go to that school anymore. It's a horrible place. Enough! Do they bring Halloween's there that scare only you? Yes, they do. No, they don't! You know what? I am done playing these games with you. Do you know why I get by the corner? And I cannot afford to take that risk. I've spent so much already. Tomorrow morning, I will personally drag you to school myself and hand you over to the principal. She will ensure you take your classes seriously and sit for your exams and that's final. I will not see any principal. What do you say about that? But that was yesterday. Today she was found dead by the roadside. I'm so sorry, madam. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, did you bother to go drop her in school after the threat? I went to her room this morning. She wasn't there. And since her school uniform was not there as well, I, I thought she had turned a new leave and went to school. <laughs> And again, did you bother to go check up on her in school or even try calling the principal to see if she was there? <laughs> I actually called the principal, but she told me she was in a meeting and I couldn't just barge into the school. There are rules. Rules? What rules? Like, parents have visiting days and today wasn't one of such days. Uh, madam, did your daughter have any friends in school? Well, Mira was never the social type. She hardly made friends. She always came to her own. But she, she, she had mentioned a certain other Jacob a few times. No, I mean, don't write that down. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure. I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the other. Sorry. That's okay, ma'am. We didn't hear you mention any. Okay, that will be all for now. We'll keep in touch. Okay. Um, so sorry for your loss, ma'am. We're deeply sorry. But um, your daughter wouldn't be buried until we get to the root of this matter. Oh my God. Yeah, the mortuary has been informed. <laughs> my child, my only child. <laughs> Very much. Very very much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 
Good afternoon, Madam Principal. I'm Detective Jake, and this is my partner, Detective Anne. Good day, detectives, and welcome to my school. Thank you, ma'am. Here is Mr. Musa, head of admin, and of course, teacher Jenny. It is indeed a sad day for all of us concerning the death of Mira. But we want to assure you of our maximum support and cooperation as you dig into the matter. But meanwhile, come into my office so I can offer you... That won't be necessary, ma'am. Please, we'd love to see a certain Agda Jacobs, late Mira's classmate. Okay? And we'd love to have some privacy with her. Not uh, in any office. Agda Jacobs? Why her? Is, is anything the matter? Should there be? Did you hear all I said? Yes, ma. Now listen, the police is your friend. Just cooperate with them. Any questions they ask you, answer the ones you can. And the ones you cannot, just keep your mouth shut. Do you understand? Yes, ma. You can go. So, Mira was your friend? No. No? No. Yes. What do you mean, no, yes? Her locker was close to mine in class. I tried making her my friend, but she wouldn't. So I had to shift my locker. So that is your explanation for the no and yes? Yes. No. Listen, kid. We're not here for infertile game, okay? Your classmate was found dead by the roadside this morning. You are the only person her mother mentioned because according to her, you are the only person her daughter mentioned twice, twice to her <laughs> hearing. Oh. She said that? Yes, she did. But well, she shouldn't have said that. And why shouldn't she? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. Ada? Nothing. Ada Jacobs. If you know anything, I mean anything, that could lead us to any useful information about the demise of your classmate, tell us now or get out! <laughs> now speak! <laughs> Who are you to Mira, friend or foe? She, 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 she was just a friend. I, I wanted her to, to no, it was Senior Mima that wanted her. Do you respect Madam Principal? We pleaded we'd have some privacy with her. Pardon my intrusion. I could hear you 30 kilometers away from here. It sounds more like an intimidation. Pardon my love. But just doing our job. She is a small girl. No, Ted. We'll try to temper down. Are you through with her already? I hear a teacher is entering her class. Actually, we're just getting started. But you can allow her to go and attend her lecture. I'm and later... afraid not, ma'am. Someone on your uniform was found dead by the roadside, not too far from your school gate. And all you care about is classes? Doesn't that bother you at all? I'm sorry, detectives. Mira was just like a child to me. Her death came to me like a rude shock. As a matter of fact, can we have a certain Mima here? Which Mima and, and why? Um, Ada, what's her full name? Um, mm. um, Ada, uh, Ada, calm down. You don't need to be scared. The police are your friend, okay? So. Um, Senior, Senior Mima. Halima Rabi with SS3. <laughs> That's me. Can someone fetch her for us, please? And this time, we need some real privacy.
They are intimidating and scaring her. Making her talk rubbish. Now listen. Don't go far away. Get back to me the moment you notice they are well out of line. Okay? Okay, ma'am. This is my school and not a police barracks. Okay, ma'am. You are Halima Rabiu, right? Yes, Mima for short. I see, Mima for short. Well, Ada here mentioned that you wanted to be friends or was friend to the late Mira. <laughs> Why will I be friends with someone who is in GSS3 when I am in SS3? <laughs> the same question that begs for an answer. So we're hoping that you tell us. Tell you what? I don't know what she's talking about. It's obvious she's talking nonsense. Well, we don't think so. Actually, she's making great sense. Because she cannot just spill out something out of nowhere. So maybe you tell us. Do you know the said Mira? Da Allah, I don't know anybody by that name in this school. Ha! Ah, senior! Shut up! Ha! Ah. Okay, huh. it's fine. So, um, who are your friends in the school? Can you show us to your friends? Go call them for us, Ada. Mima! You stay here with us. Move! Your names and classes, please. You, Olu Remy Abalaka, SS3. Next person. I am Lucy Osazi, SS3. Next person. I'm Sonia Johnson. Next. Akaiti Ombong, SS3. Next I am Becky Pindem, SS3 class. Natasha Woyangi Ebi, Tasha for short. S is true. I see. So you're the big girls of the school, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe you must have heard about the death of um, a certain mirror, the Douglas, who was found dead this morning by the roadside. Who is she? What kind of woman is this? What class is she? <laughs> That's enough. Be enough. This is a case that concerns the loss of life. It's a serious one. Somehow your names have been dragged in. As your friend here, Mima, is mentioned as wanting to be friends with the diseased Mira. You do well to cooperate with us. And if you dare lie to us in whatever way, you could be in for some tough times with us. You could be jailed. And that could spell the end of your academics. Stay here. Is that clear? Yes, sir. yes sir. So now, let's be serious. Do you know this girl? Who is she to all of you? Talk! Becky! Not me. She's... She's Remy's girl. Remy's girl. And what do you mean by that? I mean that she's a junior friend to... Remy? Remy, is that true? She's just my school daughter. Your school daughter? Yes, my school daughter. Becky, was that what you meant by Ada being Remy's girl? Yes, ma. Nothing more. Hmm. So, Mima, were you trying for Mira to be your school daughter as well as your friend? Oga, like I said, I do not know anybody with that name Mira in Genesis 3. Ah uh ah! -uh. Top! Okay. Before we let you all go, one more thing. Remy, who is your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend and I don't plan to. Becky. Same with me, yo. Eka? Ah. Me too. 
What will I do with boyfriend? In fact, what will I be doing with all these small, small children that don't even have a long rope? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! What do they have to offer? No. They don't even know how to make someone shout. Mm -hmm. Can they make someone shout? No! Can they touch the right spot? <laughs> no. Shut up, all of you! <laughs> Shut up! Like, seriously? As a street student like you? What do you girls even know? <laughs> My dear, not me today, Kaka, they for bad. Oh, 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 What is wrong with all of you? Do you think we're here for your silly jokes? God! Your parents must be ashamed of you. <laughs> One last thing. Mima, who is your boyfriend? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Oga, what has that got to do with why we are denied classes to gather here? Mm -hmm. Asking us silly questions about boyfriend and all. Chop. Answer the goddamn question! Hey! Wait, wait, wait! Oga, I am a virgin. <laughs> virgin. Only virgin. <laughs> are you satisfied now? <clears throat> We'll be seeing all of you soon. <laughs> but I just hope when I ask you to laugh, then you'll be able to. Right. You can leave. Ada, you can confide in us. Whatever information you can have can be very useful to us, okay? We can assure you of your protection so you don't have anything to bother. Is that clear? So we'll keep in touch with you. You can go now. Hmm? Just go, okay? Don't Ada. worry. We're watching you like eagle's eyes. Just go. You're safe. Don't worry. Go. Just go. God, I've never seen these kids are the most annoying kids I've seen in my life. What do you think? So much for the best school in town. Uh, but why the question about them ha having a boyfriend? Something is telling me something. I don't want to believe. And what could that be? So how did you Were you able to get any information of them? Um, nothing ma. But we'll be back maybe tomorrow. Very well then. Our gates will be open for you. Thank you very much ma. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. 
You blocked us. What's your name and why are you not in school? Um, I saw you in the school having a chat with those silly girls. So I suspected it has something to do with Mira's death. Silly girls? Why would you call them that? That's because that's what they are. Look, I am a student here and I know what's happening. My name is Nathaniel. So what do you know, Nathaniel? I know that Mima, Remy, Becky, Eka, Tasha, Lucy, and a whole lot of them, they don't have boyfriends. Why is that so? That's because they only have school daughters. But what is wrong in having a school daughter? I mean, during my time, I had like three school daughters. I look after them, I take care of them, I love them like my own. And I make sure I give them the protection from either male or female bully. So what is wrong with having a school daughter? See, that's the same promises they make to these young girls. They promise to protect, guard, take care of them. But the main question here is, in exchange for what? Speaking point house. Um, you see, detective, a lot of things is happening right here in the school. You know, advise you pressure her that more. If you pressure her more, she'll squeal. It's a club. Club? What is that? Um, that is all I have to say for now. Like I said, pressure her that more because she was Mira's running mate. Running mate? Oh. Hey! What was that? We're going back to the school. Did you forget anything? We would like to see the same set of students. So you can ask them if they have sugar daddy something, right? Oh, you're surprised. This is my school, remember? Come on, detectives. How can you be asking those little girls if they have boyfriends? Do you think they are university students? Sorry about that. Man. We're just trying to establish a premise. Which what premise you? are you talking about? First, you started by bellowing and drawing fears into them. Secondly, you started corrupting their minds by inciting them with your notion of boyfriend and girlfriend. We won't allow that here. This school is known for its high moral standard than academic excellence. We try as much as we can to protect them from that. In this school, our children don't do boyfriends and, 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 and their girlfriends within these walls. We try to protect them against that. They are just like chickens. And I, their mother hen. And as their mother hen, it is my duty to shield them against any external, psychological or emotional effects which you have heard. Now, my dear detectives, I'm afraid I cannot allow you any more audience with any of them. Period. But Ma, that will be obstructing the course of law. And of course, denying the victim justice. This as well you know is a crime. I will only allow you access to any of my students on one condition. Which is? That teacher Jelly here must be around during the termination. That is if I'm indisposed. But Ma, that is against the ethics and profession of our... Don't deal. Good. So who do you say you want to speak to? We would like to see her there now, but just leave the rest. Jelly? Yes, Ma. Fetch her. Um, I'll go with her.
Hey, Nathaniel. Come. Come. She's not around, Ada. What? How? She was a moment ago. We can't find her. School is not over yet. Did she vanish into thin air? I need to speak with the principal now. She has been informed. I, I mean, she's in a meeting with Musa our head at me. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Can I ask you a question, Jelly? Go on. Do you know about, um, does the school authority know about senior students having junior students as friends, especially the girls? Well, if what you mean is senior students being school mothers to junior students and calling them school daughters, yes. The American counterparts do likewise. I mean, this is a very common practice in almost every secondary school, especially the ones that have dormitories. You can't tell me you're ignorant of that fact being that you passed through the four walls of secondary schools yourself. What has that got to do with Mira's death anyways? Um, we'll be back. Where is Sada? Where is that little rat? Ma, honestly, I don't know. How? I can't find her. What is going on? Now, go to the chief security officer and tell him that on no account must he allow any student to leave the school premises during school hours, especially the non-dormitory. Have I made myself clear? Go right away! There's something just fishy about this whole school mother thing. That's what has been playing in my mind. You're just being unduly sensitive here. To me, it's a case of suicide. A girl went into deep depression over the death of her father. Her mother didn't give her attention. She had no friends to lean on your shoulder. The solution set in and then she decided to give in to life by cutting her arteries, vein and bled to death. That is it. Just like that? By the roadside? Just like that now. I mean, that is where she decided to give her epic exit to this rubbish you would call life. Headline news, cutting razors, case closed. Wow. <laughs> Come on. 
Come in. Dear mother, it is a club. There is a style that creates the system. They allow the freshers settle in in their first and second year. And after that, they start circling you like vultures. Hello, girls. Having a nice time? Good day, Sunia. Mm, good day. I can see you girls are having a nice time, I guess. Well, my name is Olu Remy, Remy for short, SS3. And here with me is... I am Natasha, Tasha for short. We are classmates. And you are in just as three, I guess. Hmm, nice. But how do you know we are in just as three? <laughs> it is a small world, they say. Mm -hmm. And this is a big school. In the small big world. Exactly. Are you not Mira, Ada, and Shoma? Anyways, let me not take much of your time. We'll be seeing you soon. And, uh, cut this. What's next? Let's go. <laughs> Ada! It's not hey! to collect money from strangers. Ah, strangers? They are our fellow students. Or did you not hear them call us by our names? Knowing your name is one thing. Do you know them from home? Do you have any form of affinity with them? Ah! Mira, you have started with this your upright attitude again. They are just trying to be nice. There is nothing wrong collecting money from them. Thank you. Just like that. I beg if you don't want, give me your own share. You can uh, have it. How many are you not taking now? Give me as many want. Uh, uh, take five and give me five now. What is that? Wait, wait. Let me find the money very well. We'll share 500. I'll give you. That was like throwing a corn to a fowl in order to catch it. Mira was right. Choma and I couldn't get the signs. And they came again. So, um, what else do you do? Ada. Good morning, seniors. Um, good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are the rest. The over there. Called up. Okay. Chama! Mira! Hurry up! Come! <laughs> Good morning, senior. Good morning. Good morning, senior. Good morning. Good morning, senior. <laughs> Ada, yes, I brought you something. Uh, don't open it yet. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. This is for you, Choma. Thank you so much, Simi. And um, this is for you, Mira. It's from Mima. Who is Mima? Well, why not take it? And then after school closure, you come find out for yourself. She's in SS3 class. I'm sorry, but I can't take this present or whatever is in there. Please return it to whoever she is. Who rejects gifts? Come on, it's just a harmless gift. And don't you think you'll be disrespecting your senior by rejecting this gift? If it's a harmless gift like you said, why are you forcing it on me? My dad already warned me before he died not to accept gifts from strangers. Um, but seniors, why didn't she come by herself to give her the gift since... And who asked for your opinion? You rat! And one more word from you, I'll make you regret talking back to a senior student in this school. <laughs> Shut up! Sasha. 
Come on, girl. It's okay. Girls, we will leave you now. Okay? <laughs> See you after school. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, Siri. Rubbish. Let's go, Becky. Let's go. Bye. I heard you rejected the gift I sent you. Why? I'm sorry, but I do accept gifts from strangers. That warned me against it. <laughs> so, you decided to make me a stranger to you. How? How? Look, Mira, I am trying to be close to you. But you keep treating me like a stranger. How then can we be friends if you keep rejecting the gifts I sent to you? It's just the training I got from my dad. Hmm. Hey, I heard your father is late. Sorry. Cool. Thank you. You see, that is why you need me as your friend. Eh? My mother is a seventh senator. And I am the last born of the house. She gives me everything life has in stock. This is why I want to be your school mother. So that you will never lack anything, Mira. So I will take care of you, Mira. Anything you want, eh, Mira? And I also want to be your school mother, uh -huh. Ada. School, school mother? mother? <laughs> yes. Don't you know what that is? Eh? Well, I will explain it to you. Now, senior students take particular interest in being friends with their junior counterparts. The essence is to protect and defend you. It is also to guide, guard and care for you while you are in students in this school. And when we graduate, you also will be school mothers to the younger ones. In defending you, we make sure that no boy bullies you or messes with you. And at graduation, we will make sure that you get to any university of your choice. Mm -hmm. And if the relationship is strong, <laughs> Wallahi, we will make sure that you will get a very good job in any blue chip companies of your choice. Really? Eh? Uh -huh. How can it? Yes. Anything you ask of us, mm -hmm. you will get. At what price and to what end? <laughs> Nothing really, my dear. Is uh, we will just take you through the rite of passage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which passage? Okay. <laughs> if you accept to be my school daughter, I will take you through it. So, if I want iPhone 15 now, you buy it for me. Of course. Ask for one. And I will buy you three. <laughs> My mother is excessively rich. But she will not have anything to do with the boys. I no! Ha, I've never had anything to do with any boy. Good. I've never had but anything to do wait, with Wait, why are you only talking about your mothers? Don't you have fathers? <laughs> ah, story for another day. So. Yeah? Are you girls in? Yes, I am in. Is it not to be your school daughter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not interested. I have a mother at home. Come back right here. Leave her. Just leave her. Wallahi, talahi, she will regret this. Sure. Mm hmm Leave her. Hey. What's up? I'm fine. Remy. Hello. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you can come. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, my girl. Don't worry, I'll tell you later. Don't grieve, huh? Let's go. Ah. Small children. Small children. Flower, honey. That was how Mira drew the battle line. And I walked into into the snare of the devil. The snare of the devil? Anything worse than that. What then happened afterwards? For me and other girls that accepted to be their school daughters, 
despoiled us with different gifts and made sure we stayed away from boys. And Mira. Wow! There so right. you are, girls. Come on, what's going on? Oh. Eh? What's going on? You don't longer have evening studies with us as usual. Ada, what's going on now? Like, you get a belly evil scene in classes these days. Exactly. And I noticed you guys missed the last test. What's happening, guys? Richie, Nats, and Mazi. Are you guys blind or something? Like, how do you mean? Can't you see we are no more in your level? <laughs> Besides, you are boys and we are girls. Are we even supposed to be seen together? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, like, Ada, but we, we are friends understand. now. We do study together. We hang out during and after school hours. Yeah. So what changed? What, like, what changed? Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, sorry guys. We have to go. Yeah. Like, where, where, where are you guys going? None of your business. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Between you and um, Senior Maimon. You're asking the wrong person. Oh, Me, I'm tired. I want to start. Hey, kneel down. Oh, but what did I Raise do? your hand, Mana. What did I do? Raise your hand. Why could I do? What did I do? I don't like this. People are punishing me for what? Kneel down. Come on. 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 This little rat saw me and didn't greet me, so I had to punish her. Ha! My Zelayo! I greeted her, she said she didn't hear me. I greeted her again, she still said I should come and kneel down and greet her. And you refused? Do you realize who she is? Do you realize that she is the head girl of the school? And her dear mother is senator in this country. So if she wants you to enter a pit and greet her, you do so. Puma! Shut up! I'm talking, you're talking. You know, I've been getting evil reports about you in this school. I'll make sure you are severely punished. Continue. Thank you, ma. Raise your hand. Raise it up! Raise it up! Raise it up! Raise it very Raise it up! Raise this hand up! Raise it up! That became the routine. At any slightest step, Senior Mima would want to hound Mira just to make life unbearable for her. Just because she refused to be her school daughter? Just being a school daughter? So we thought. Just being a school mother and daughter. Until one day. Um, senior, you, you called us. Yes. Now listen, we, your school mothers, have taken good care of you. So now it's time for you to become closer and freer with us. So there is a place you are going to meet us after school. Mm -hmm. Tell no one about this. What we are telling you now, other school mothers are telling their school daughters. Go. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but please, what are we going to do there? Uh, well, it is a party where you are going to enjoy yourself and you are going to do the rite of passage. Go! Mm -hmm. ah. Also, you are going to meet all the big people of the society you have heard about. Mm -hmm. And also, you are going to officially become the big girls in this school. Mm -hmm. ah. You can also get all the good things you want and anything you like. Kunji! Ah. 
Senior, please what time? Ah, uh, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. You are bored us, not today's student. Mm -hmm. uh, senior, I am I'm, I'm a day student. My mother will be worried about me if I don't return back on time. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Everything has been sorted out, dear school daughter. When the school is over, come and meet me in the classroom and I will take you to the party. Same goes to the two of you. Your school mothers will take you to the party too. <laughs> um, so, how about Mira? Should I come with her? Hi, Mira. No, leave Mira. Her time will come. Don't worry. Go. Aha. Monday hustle all day and all night The Jill things got me staying up all night The country's on left, we gon' be alright Your account is so loose, how you gon' pay your tights? No be who can put this man in case I beat rich before I even do my shoelace The problem be me, I'm talking about the briefcase We all grown now, no time to get this behave Every man getting your plans Keep pushing all them, say you four hands Bad men get their own chance Ulu, I get my back, I no day for their substance Take it easy, take it gently Someday you go buy Benz, even Bentley Thank Jack for life, say you know this cemetery Stay far away, all them bad energy I just want to live my life, I know I just want to live my life, I know Mofe, she share, mofe, jaye, mofe, lo, wo, mofe, lo Shebi, yo, shebi, I know go blow Steady a lot, buy the moto Send to mama and I buy me a house Call my baby, give her the love And give her everything that she wants Steady a lot, buy the moto Send to mama and I buy me a house I call my baby and I give her the love And I give her everything that she wants Procrastination is the truth I'm very sorry. I didn't know you were going to be here. I knew you'd so be sorry. here, my dear daughter. Huh? Relax. I actually want you here. Mother. Yes, me, your mother. <laughs> you are shocked at seeing your principal here. Welcome to the house. You are here today. So we can officially induct you into the house. It is called the right passage to womanhood. What you are about to do here today should never escape your lips. If and when you pass through it, you will ask anything and it will be given you. But there are rules. Tonight, say bye bye to school boys or any other boy until such a time we deem fit for you to have children. We will allow you to have a child or two, and you'll be required to kill your husband. Oh. Oh. What? Mira's mother, too? Yes. I was as shocked as when I saw my own mother there, the principal and teacher Jelly. Your mother talked about killing of husbands. Is your dad late too? Yes. 
I was barely five, just as Mira. Hmm. What happened next? Judith, your daughter is not here. Halima, you were assigned to make her your school daughter. Why is she not here? But I tried for but you know your daughter, she is very stubborn. Wallahi, she is yes. stubborn. Yes, that is no excuse. Judith and Halima, yes, yes. you both should ensure that she becomes part of this family in the next two weeks maximum. Is that clear? Yes, yes Supreme Mother. Stand up. Thank you. Supreme Mother, the principal. That's who she is in the club. Detectives. Did you forget anything? We'd we'll like to see the same set of students. So we you have. can ask them if they have sugar daddy something, right? You're surprised. This is my school, remember? Come on, detectives. How can you be asking those little girls if they have boyfriends? Do you think they are university students? Sorry about that. Man. We're just trying to establish a premise. Which what premise are you talking about? First, you started by bellowing and drawing fears into them. Secondly, you started corrupting their minds by inciting them with your notion of boyfriend and girlfriend. We won't allow that here. This school is known for its high moral standard than academic excellence. We try as much as we can to protect them from that. In this school, our children don't do boyfriends and, 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 and their girlfriends within these walls. We try to protect them against that. They are just like chickens. And I, their mother hen. And as their mother hen, it is my duty to shield them against any external, psychological, or emotional effects. Oh. <laughs> it's making sense now. Continue. Now to the business of the day. Young ones, step forward. Move! Sit down. School mothers, help them. Spread your legs. Spread your legs wide. Go ahead, do the right thing. School mothers, insert your candle. Ah! <laughs> 
Welcome to dear Mother Claw. The first blood you bled is a truce. A covenant that binds us in our port of secrets. Henceforth, no man shall climb you until we deem it fit. Your craving shall be only for your school mothers whenever they want it. <laughs> I assure you that your future will be the best, with best grade in school and graduation. Juicy appointments in labor markets. We run the society outside. Now listen to this. Any day you reveal what happened here today, you will die. Now, it is time to appreciate your school mothers for what they have been doing for you. Take them into your rooms and enjoy yourselves. Wait, are you telling us some sort of Nollywood movie here or you're being serious? Ma, she's actually saying the truth. I've caught Sinobeki touching sensitive part of some other girls during evening games. So, Ada, that was how we lost our virginity and became women. Our duty is to assuage the sexual urge of our school mothers and in return get whatever we wanted. But we were not allowed close to boys. How were you able to look at your mother in the face after that? We coped. She in fact gave me further lectures on what their mother is all about. They are the high and mighty women in the society as members. Wait, haven't I heard of that name before? There's an NGO with that name. Yes. Dear Mother Foundation. Exactly. There is also Dear Mother Home for widows and suffering women. They disguise as a platform that cater for the welfare of the women. Including the young women and the widows. But beneath the surface is a cult. Why did you decide to open up, knowing the consequences that would befall you if you tell? 
You swore to an oath. I got fed up. I got fed up with being used as a sex toy to the wicked women. I got fed up to the drugs and the fake lifestyle. I got fed up, especially how Mira died. And because my mother killed my father. I don't want to ever do that to my future husband. So, how did she die? Mira, any clue? First, they, they sent me to lure her. Mira, it really breaks my heart to see you go through all this. Just accept to be seen your Nima's school daughter. Listen, she really loves and cares for you. Friendship not by force. Eh, Ada? School mother not by force. Why is everyone trying to force me to be who I'm not and to have what I don't want to have? This is all beginning to look suspicious. I'm suspecting you too, Seth. Listen, do you prefer to continue in this punishment? I will see through it to the end. I've already started talking to my mother to get me out of this horror of a place. See, my body, spirit and soul are already out of here. <laughs> Your mother? Yes, my mother. <laughs> if only you knew. Knew what? Keep going. <laughs> Bend down. She remained resolute until a day came. That day was just yesterday. Oh, ma, ah, ha, ha, Mira, you called me out of the class and you're not even saying anything. What is it? Ada, I have seen it all. Babylon, Sodom and Gomorrah, I have seen it all. I am done. Ha. What did you see? What? Hmm. Ada, you will not believe it. After serving punishment for Senor Mima, after doing nothing, I decided to go and tell her that, okay, I'm done serving punishment. I went to the staff room. She was not there. So Mr. Musa asked me to go and look for her in the principal's office. Mm -hmm. You would not believe what I saw when I got there. What? What did you see? I cannot see it. I cannot see it. What now? See it. Ada, can you believe? I saw the principal and Miss Miss Jelly. They were, they were kissing. And Mima, they were touching themselves in places that they should not. I'm done. Hey God, just, just end this world. Okay. Really? Will I be telling lies to you? Eh? Why, why will I make up a lie with such a thing? See, nothing will ever bring me to this school. As I'm leaving this gate now, I will never come back. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but I will advise you keep it to yourself. Because if you say it, they could harm you. Just keep it to yourself. I will tell my mother and everybody that cares to listen. I must leave this horror of a place called school. I can't take it. <gasps> What is it? Ma, she said she was going to tell. Then it has to be done.
Yeah. Your daughter saw Jelly, Mima, and myself doing it. And she vowed to tell. Do the needful. Or you go for it. As for you, Ada, make sure you don't tell anyone anything. You know the penalty that awaits you, right? Yes, ma'am. You will get a phone call and directives to tell you what to do tonight. But meanwhile, go back to your class. Thank you, ma'am. That was just yesterday. So she was found dead this morning. She killed herself, or who did? <laughs> she died last night, actually. But the mother said she left the house this morning. She lied. Mira was killed yesterday. By who? for coming to my aid. I cannot stand my mother anymore. Can you believe after everything I told her, she said I was making it up just to get my wish. Ha. She even vowed to force me back to school tomorrow. Ha. That's really serious. Mm -hmm. It's really bad. Anyways, uh, let me take you to my house hey. so that you can stay there temporarily until my mother helps get you another school. Thank you so much, Ada. I don't even know how to repay you. Hey. Thank you so much. You know, my mother is not around. That's why when you called me that you were coming, I decided to seize this opportunity to run away. Wow. Okay, no problem. Let's just let's go. You can have a seat. Sit down. This is your house. Yes, this is my house. So relax, okay? Um, let me get you something to drink, okay? Give me a bottle of drink. I'll be right back. Anybody out there? 
your mother will be the one to kill you. Jenny? Yes, ma'am. Cut her wrist and make it look like a suicide. Then arrange to deposit her body early tomorrow. Is that clear? Okay. Judith. Judith? <laughs> Follow me. Let's go. When you showed up in school, you decided to seize the moment. How did you know my office? I am Detective Jake, and this is my partner, Detective Annie, both from CID branch here in Life Cup. Potter? for coming to us to review all that you have said here today. However, I hope you do realize that important names and organizations have been mentioned and wrote in through your statements. So when called upon anytime and anywhere, I hope you can repeat everything that you've said in here today. I have them recorded on my phone and on paper. And you know what that means? Everything you said here today must be the truth. I am not lying. That's okay. We will swing into action and bring this suspect in. But I'm afraid of that you have to remain in custody. Nat and Mezi will drop you off on our way out. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Take this. more water. More water. <laughs>
What's funny? Hmm. You don't know the war you are inviting upon yourself. Bring it on. Move! Please move it. Move. name is happening here. These people are news people. They said they want to talk to you, sir. Are you a teacher here, sir? May we know what really happened, sir? Is your principal really the supreme mother of the dear mother court, sir? Are there male members in the cult group, sir, also? And are you one of them, sir? Enough! Now, listen. I don't have any information to dish out to you now. Let's allow the police do their duty. Good day. Sir, sir does that make you an accomplice to the crime, sir? Now, listen, all of you. I will appreciate it you leave this property or I call the police on you. And you, if it means using force on anyone who dares to break into this gate, use it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Excuse me, sir. Move. 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 Puma. Yes, this guy, they, they rock big for you. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Well, you, your father get money, see your own. Yeah. 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 I'm very yeah. able. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish to be rich like you. Inshallah. Inshallah. One that shall never end. No wonder these girls don't allow us to come near them. You guys know I've been trying to woo Becky and Remy. But none of them agreed for me. My friend, I agree with you. Yes. I have tried all my best to get close to Mima. But her pride wouldn't allow her. So I thought, but now we know better. Huh. Even Becky, Eka, and Janet. My God. You know, if it was Mima, Tasha, and Remy, I wouldn't be so surprised. But Becky, Eka, and Janet, those girls, they don't look it. <laughs> Ray, my friend, come on, Tabu, the Kafada. You see, looks, they say, is deceptive. Pretenders always do the worst. All right. Teacher, Jelly, the principal, and even, wait, Desmond. Are you sure your school son Nathaniel has not put small salt and sugar in this story to make it sweet? How do you mean? Come to think of it, how will um, Mirabel's mother take her own daughter's life? This story doesn't add up to me. Ada, Mira's best friend, who was also initiated into that so-called dear mother, whatever, she also indicted her own mother. How could she have made all that up? Well, Lahi, I believe everything they said about those idiots. They should be jailed. I bet you there is more to come. Sako you always see. All right. All right. All right. That you're, you're still a big man. Back to our topic. You're eating <laughs> politicians' money. I bet you are boo. I bet you are boo. Show us the way. Let me buy you. What's that for? That bell only rings that way when there's an emergency. What other emergency could be more important than what just happened? 
Guys, guys, it has happened. What? What happened? The detectives came to see Mr. Musa, get for me. I was there. So? We are authorized to seal your school until further notice. What? Yes, and that starts now. How? The students, they are preparing for their junior WAIC exams. And it's just a few weeks from, from today. It seems you don't know the gravity of the offense and allegation being laid against the number one citizen of this school. Her crony, teacher Jelly, and the so-called female senior students in this school. Such an act is enough for them to be lined up for a firing squad for immediate execution. But you see that allegation, and no one is convicted yet. Why shut down the school then? We are not here to bandy words with you, Mr. Musa. We are carrying out orders from our bosses. And the order says, shut down the school indefinitely until further notice. While we carry out further investigations into the matter. Detective Ann and our team of armed squad are stationed outside your school gates. They are ready for action and are fighting to keep at bay some reporters agitating to milk some information from you and the students. So, will you shut it down or do we use force? But, detective, as you can see, the school is undergoing some renovations. I said shut it down, Mr. Boy! Now! Richard, get me the big school bell from my office. What? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, they can't do that to us now. Okay, the bell already rang now. No, no. Look, our junior wire is around the corner. And even the senior wire too. Look, if things um, continue like this, I think we we'll have to come from our home to sit for the exam. You get me? So I think uh, everyone is going to the assembly ground. Let's go before they see us inside the school. So we have to vacate our dormitory. Guy, the dormitory is part of the school. Let's go. We have your details. So we'll be inviting you guys to the station soon to hear your own side of the story. So now go pack your things and wait for your parents to come pick you. said I should pull over. So, what's up? Um, I needed to get some drugs from the pharmacy over there. Drugs? Again? Are you sure you're okay? Of course. I'm okay. I'll be right back. You heard what I said? Keep a low profile. No one should know about your movements. Yes, Most importantly, no one should know about what happened. Keep your lips sealed. Yes, senior. Just keep it to yourself. Just you and I. Understood? Yes, senior. Now go. We'll keep in touch. Hi. Right. Yeah, sure. Let's get going. 
Okay. She's been sleeping all day. Day two. So much for her young shoulders to carry, I guess. <coughs> Father, are you okay? Um, we, we didn't want to wake you up, but since you're awake now, we wanted to know if you have anyone here in town you can put up with for the time being, because your mother has been in our custody since yesterday. Do you have anyone? This name and address. Hmm? Donald Trump. I beg your pardon? Donald who? Donald Trump now. He's the only one I have. Are you are you alright? I'm alright. I said Donald Trump is my ex-boyfriend. Please, can you take me to him? I miss him so much. Please, I miss him so much. Take me to him. Maybe she's sleep talking. <laughs> sleep talking? Stop that. Me sleep talking. Ada! That's an insult to my personality. See, I can see you very well. Oh. Are you not Wayne Rooney, the famous X Man U player? And you, are you not Patience Jonathan, wife of the ex president? Good luck, Jonathan. <laughs> you see, I can recognize you very well. You are shocked. Forget that saying. I know you people very well. Do we stay in the same house? Oh, you're running maids. We're supposed to look out for each other. Yes. Hello? By strapping you both to my back wherever I go, right? Running maids kill the both of you, dear. As far as I am concerned, I do not care whatever they have said. I will do whatever pleases me. Shh. I know the way to my parents' house, and that is where I am headed. Asokora Abuja. School has closed. So you guys should go home. And whatever I left in the dormitory, my elder sister and my mom can afford it 10,000 times. So suit yourself. Chuma! Chuma! You people are calling me a mad person, Abby. You are calling me a mad person, right? I will show you what madness is today. Leave me! Rascals! Lunatics! <laughs> She was fine and sound a moment ago. Now this? What could be the problem? D.I.D. What? D.I.D. simply means Dissociative Identity Disorder, which has a personal disorder and a multiple disorder, characterized by two or more personal distinct personalities. Fine, it also has a unique name, personal history and characteristics. Please speak in plain terms. 
It's an anomaly where a patient sees him or herself in distinct personalities, doing things differently, having new friends. Well, all these are caused by loss of memories, loss of connections and love. In other words, whatever she does in the state is unreal, abstract or non-existent. Exactly. Sometimes she sees herself in different places like US, Canada, Italy and all. Having meetings with the president, but all these are not real, they are all fallacies. What do you think? What do I think? Really? Didn't you hear the doctor in there? Adam may have taken us on a roller coaster, la la land experience from her mental topsy turvydom. Everything she may have told us during her confession could be false. Dreamland experience. In plain terms, the girl is raving mad. This is this is getting really confusing. Wait a minute. He said something that struck me. Mostly inherent. This sickness could be managed, but definitely not cured. It could also last a lifetime if not well managed. We can as well help her through shock. But her case is different. This sickness has been lying deep asleep inside of her. Who knows what must have triggered it? Something like what? Shock, root shock or bang on her head. Something must have triggered it. So? What must have triggered that relapse? Could it be the death of her friend that triggered it? I don't think so. You know, this, this is getting really, really confusing. I think I need a drink. Are you coming? I think we should rather pay a visit to someone. Who? her medical history, everything. How often does that happen to her? Madam, you need to answer the question. In order to soften the allegation leveled against you by your own daughter. You need to talk! Don't you ever raise your voice at me, you rascal. How dare you? It seems you don't know what you've gotten yourself into. Answer the question. And if I don't? Is it now you want vital information from me after disgracing yourself and not me? Madam, I implore you to speak in order to help everyone with this situation. Well, I am not aware of such ailment. There has not been any record of such with my daughter or anyone in my family. But since according to the doctor, it's inherent and lying asleep, something must have actually triggered it, which definitely wasn't from me. So where might it come from? You two have some explanations to give. That will be all for now. Corporal. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. What now? We need to see some people. You 
you've known her for three years now. Have you ever seen her behave in such weird way before? Well, that could be funny sometimes. You know, I've, I've noticed that she had this kind of deep fear within her. And then every time she tries to express herself, she can go home talking for a long time. And then when she doesn't want to talk, she, she can don't talk for a, for a period of three days. Is she mad? I don't think she is. I can vouch for her on that. You can go. Well, thank you. I don't know what you're talking about. Does your friend usually or occasionally display symptoms of what we earlier discussed? And if she... And I said I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't mind, can I go in now? Because mom and I are going out. That's okay. Sorry we took your time. We'll be on our way now. Please just leave. Leave! Rubbish. It can't just all be fallacy. I mean the impudence of the senior girls in the school. The confession by Ada. The reactions of the principal and Jelly, the NGO mentioned. Everything seems so real. How it all could be manufactured from a mental malfunctioning is baffling and puzzling to me. The NGO, hold on. We need to pay the NGO visit as well as the orphanage. Tonight? Kai, chill off. Calm down. Calm down. We go again tomorrow. Ah. Besides, you reek of alcohol. You can't go and investigate someone like this. Calm down. Ada's mother, Kai. No, no, no. Ada's mother is just causing confusion everywhere. Hope nobody saw you. No one, school father. Ready? Yes, he said we can come now, that everything is ready. All right, good. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, we go. Ma, hmm? that's the place. So, you guys are really serious about this? We are here already now. Shall we? So, about that, Ma. Okay, lead the way.
day, Dr. Mayor. Well, surprise to me to tell you. Duty calls. Um, just a quick one. Okay. Was there any trace of a hard substance found in Ada's system? Why do you ask? Because you said such could trigger off the reaction of the ailment she suffers. Yes, of course. Good. There was no reaction after the party she allegedly attended at her principal's place. Then all of a sudden, she goes basic. Something must have happened. Was there a trace of any substance in her system? If yes, what sort? Mm. Well, then I have to go carry out the test, but maybe when I return, I have a serious emergency to attend to. It's all about life and death. Uh, this is also an emergency, Dr. Mayor. A life is already lost. Mirrors. And one is hanging in the balance in the air. I'm afraid there are many lives that may follow because this is just the beginning. This mm. is more important. Then you have to give me some time to run the test and bring out the results. Fine. All right. Yeah. But do you mind? No, no, don't bother. We are parked right. outside, so we have all the... Okay, just in the jeep. If the drugs don't cause it, then how does she ingest it? Definitely, the initiation wasn't yesterday. It was three days ago when she came to us with her confession. And the initiation must have happened days, weeks, or even months before then. It's just a hunch. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's wait and see. Yeah. Negative. It wasn't drugs. It was shock. Someone must have shocked her or put fear in her that must have triggered it. We interrogated her mother and her classmates, and their story differed from her findings. Her mother claimed ignorance to certain ailments. Where are we getting it mixed up? <laughs> are you saying I manufactured the ailments firstly detected? <laughs> no. I'm a bit confused here. I mean, how can a mother build her daughter from birth till now and not be aware of this ailment? Well, that I wouldn't know. I don't live with them in their house. Please, may I go? Sure. Won't bother you again. I think, I think Ada's mom is hiding something. Likewise, Dr. Mayor. How so? It's just a hunch. Hello? Yes? Detective Jake speaking. What? How? When? I am coming over right away. What is it? I just got a call from the mortuary. Mira's corpse is missing. What? How? We are going there immediately to find out. Madam, every beggar, I don't know what's happened. See, I swear with my grandfather's grave, I don't know what's happened for that much money. I don't know what's happened. I don't know. I don't know. You were on duty night and day. 
for three days since we brought in the cops of that school girl. And you say you don't know how the cop got missing? See, you better start talking else you will get yourself into a lot of trouble. Madam, I swear with whatever you say, Madam, I don't know what's in her. I don't feel like, okay, help me. I don't feel like for you. Yeah, like, like this. I don't feel like, I don't feel I don't know. I don't know what's in her. I don't know. Were you sleeping or something? Uh, every every day for night by 10 p.m. Like this, me at the lock up every day. And even if they bring their body, as they finish dressing, they go. Me, I go lock up everywhere. Go find my corner sleep. You know, say plenty of things they happen for this matter, they own and they know. For night, their body feel rise or go party. Some they fly, some they do other things. Maybe the dead body fly or what? Or it disappear. I don't know what it happened. Mr. Mortuary. Sir? You will soon know by the time we are done with you. Ah. Officer! Sir! Walk him up immediately. Yes, sir. I mean, I don't know anything, no. I should think, see, you know, you carry that thing for I don't know now. Where will carry you go now before you come out of the lady's ah. pocket? Stand up on the go! Okay. Uh, I'm done. I don't know what it happened. I don't know. I don't know. Don't harass me. I don't know. Ah. This is getting more complicated than I imagined. What now? How she did that? Still in shock. I haven't heard anything from her. But um, will she ever speak? <sighs> Miracle. True miracle, she will. No, Isha Allah, let them with King. No records. No records. Records on what? When did you learn No records of her family, secondary school, and university she attended. How? It was deleted off Google just today. By who? Who else but her? I was trying to check and find out who her secondary school classmates and close friends were at least. So I can trace if any one of them belonged to maybe the trustee of the NGO or something. Why? <laughs> Come on, Detective Annie. It's so simple to decipher. If they are second school classmates and friends, chances are that they must have been initiated into this so-called um, their mother court or whatever as running mates. That would have been a very smart move. Smart move for her to have erased all the information from Google. Why not check the trustee and see if it's linked to her or something? I have tried that and nothing came up. I've tried to mark their pictures, yet everything shows similarity of details from Caribbean countries and so forth. Well, I guess that should be all for today. We'll go again tomorrow. Remember, we have a missing cops to find. Don't go on. I'll see you on the way too. We'll meet her tomorrow morning. All right. Good night. Good night. Hello, officer. Meet me in my office immediately. I have a job for you. Good.
This is where I leave you guys to eat again tonight. I gave her some pounds of blood. She bled dry. Believe me when I say it's a miracle. She will still be alive. Good night. Good night. Good night sir. Um, one more thing. You need to be more discreet about your coming here. Remember, you're up against a very smart detective, Jake. He might trail you guys. Good night. Good night, Good night sir. I brought you food. Yeah. Please, can I feed you? Yeah. Can I feed? Tonight? Ah, I mean, it's late already now. Can't we leave it tomorrow? Okay, it's fine. Send me the address. Send me the address. Yes, me. Please sit. What do you care for? Whiskey, brandy, champagne. Anyways, I just got in here. I'm fine. Can we go straight to where you called me out? But you should know why we are here. I don't know. So you tell me. <sighs> Heavy dose of benzodiazepine and anticholinergic drugs was what I found out in Ada's system. When the test was conducted, I figured out that that was what triggers the DID Ada has. It will lead to retrograde amnesia, where she will never remember anything she has sees or done when she wakes up. It is only a pharmacist who understands the fraternal relationship that will only release those doses and administer it to her. So, why are you telling me this now? I was about coming out to meet with you and your colleagues. To bring out the original results, a call came in. I figured out that that was a lady's voice. She said she's the senator. She wired 10 million naira into my account. She warned me seriously never to give her the original results. I don't know why she did that. And I'm still thinking how she get to find out about all this. So how do I come in in all of this? Do you think I called you? She made mention of your name, saying you understand why she called. Understand what exactly? I don't know. Maybe you tell me. <laughs> Uh, I think I need this drink now. <laughs> Hello? Sir, I have the picture of Dr. Maya and Anne. Good job. Send them to my phone immediately. And please remember, this is between you and I. Hope you know that. All right, sir. Yes, sir. All right.
Dr. Mayer. Wow. Dr. Mayer. Dr. Mayer owns the mortuary. I said it. I said it. Seniors, something tells me we should take Mira out of that place. So. Why? It won't take long before somebody finds out. Let's Ma take her to where nobody knows. Well, why, 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 Paro? I don't know, but going by what Dr. Mayer said, it won't take long before Detective Jake and Co. finds out. But she is not yet drunk. What if Dr. Mayer needs to give her some treatment? Come back, Asenibar. Kuba, has the point. How about to me, she's strong, oh. To me, she's strong. She's just in shock, that's all. See, let's just go. Tomorrow, we'll come back and move her. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Doctor, she can now. Let's go. Tomorrow, we'll come back. Let's go. Let's go. Jake, you sounded so urgent. Something interesting came up last night. We need to visit Dr. Mayer right now. Dr. Mayer? What happened? I'll explain to you on the way. Dr. Mayor, uh, detectives, so what do I owe these August visits? I am afraid you have to come with us to the station to answer some questions concerning the missing corpse of Mira and for lying to us. Lying to you? On what? You know when you come to the station. Please, follow us. Are you saying I'm under arrest? No. Okay, well, I'll use um, my... That won't be necessary. Please come with us. All right. Do you deny that you own the mortuary where Mira's corpse was deposited, which is now missing? I don't mm -hmm. deny it one bit. So you know about the missing corpse? That I own a mortuary doesn't mean I should be at the mortuary door day and night. Their hands that watch your right. So, you don't know about the missing cops of a said Mirabel Douglas? You're just telling me this now. I'm not always there, and perhaps it's about three kilometers from the hospital to the mortuary. There are people paid to do those things. You should be asking them those questions, not me. So, where did you go last night? Pardon? The lonely house at the outskirts of Dusay al Haji. What do you always go there to do at night? How did you know about this? I followed you last night.
seniors, something tells me we should take Mira out of that place. So. Why? It shouldn't take long before somebody finds out. Let's Me take her to where nobody knows. But why? 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 Yeah. Paro? I don't know, but going by what Dr. Mayer said, it won't take long before Detective Jake and Co. finds out. But she is not yet strong. What if Dr. Mayer needs to give her some treatment? Come back and say, Niba. Come back. Come back. That's the point. Come but on, to me, she's strong, though. To me, she's strong. She's just in shock, that's all. See, let's just go. Tomorrow, we'll come back and move her. Don't worry, have to move her. So, she can now. Let's go. Tomorrow, let's go. So, what did you keep in there, Dr. Mia? Something personal. Is Mira Corpse that something personal? I am afraid you have to go and show us what you're hiding in there. Shall we? Get it off. Now open the door. I said open the damn door. Do you want me to use force on you? Listen, if you know there's nothing illegal here, open this door for crying out loud. What is wrong with you? Open it now! The key this is my right pocket. <laughs> What is this place? It's a place where I carry out all my medical research. I experiment rodents, snakes, living things. And corpses as well? Did you see any here? How is your little nephew, Nathaniel, doing? Nathaniel? Uh, 
uh, I'm sure you know I'm talking about one Nathaniel James, classmate to the diseased mirror. I dug really deeper last night and found out you're his father's younger brother. Small world, isn't it? Does Nathaniel also come here for medical experiment too? We'll keep in touch if something comes up. So, I want you to know that you owe us one real explanation about that medical test result. My regards to my friends Nathaniel and his cool father this month. <laughs> Did you do it? Do what? Did you move Mira from the local house? No. Is she no longer there? Jake and Annie found out and brought me here, but when we got here, we met nobody. How? But we were there last night and thinking about moving her tonight, and there's no way she could have run because she's still weak. Who then did? Honestly. I don't know. Um, where are you? Still at the local house. Should we come and, um... No, I think he suspects you come here as well. In fact, he showed me here last night, and I guess you guys were still inside then. Oh! I see. So he was the one who was trying to open the door last night. Look, Nat, I have played my part for you. When my attention was drawn to the mortuary by the attendant on duty, the day Mira was brought in here saying they felt a pause. I called you immediately and you begged me to keep it a secret and see how to revive her. I put my profession in line to do this because you are same blood. And because you told me it will help you unravel things about her supposed killer. However, things are getting out of hand. I have received so many calls from strange persons, even from someone who claims to be a senator. On the same case, so dear nephew, we never talked about this. Be careful. Be very, very careful. Okay. What happened? Mira is missing. Detectives were there with my uncle, and she wasn't there. But who then moved her? Oh no, 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 no! I just hope not. Get into the car. Umar, just tell me the truth. Did you move her away? Why you Allah? When I hear him again, I need one name. Desmond, what kind of question is this? Well, lie, I did not do it. I mean, what do I gain to stand in the disappearance of Mira? Keski, I did not do it. It was just the four of us, excluding Uncle Mayor, that knew the fact that Mira was still alive and hidden there. How then did she disappear? That mirror of a girl. Maybe she just disappeared, Va. Yes. But seriously, Desmond, you know me. You know I cannot do anything. I can't do something behind you. Keskia, I cannot. And you? Did you tell anyone else that she was still alive? No. K, K, K. Wanna hear him, Magana? Yena bani damwa. This is really strange. What are you saying, Nats? Mira is dead and gone. See, 
It's exactly the way I told you guys. That's just it. But Nat, you're not a good friend. So you knew all along that Mira was alive. Yet, you followed us to the detective's office to report the case with Ada, claiming ignorance. Monsieur, I didn't know then. Look, it was when we left the station, that's when my uncle called and told me she still had some pulse. And I decided to tell him to keep it a secret until we unravel this whole mystery about Mira's death and dear mother club. Guy, you didn't bother telling us your friends. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Until she was declared missing again. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Now, what do you want us to do? This whole thing just looks like tales by moonlight. Please. Me, I am going home. Trauma, wait. See, we need to pull heads together and look for a way we can find her. Find who? Did they find ghost? She's alive. <laughs> Says you. As far as I'm concerned, Mira is dead and gone. And I heard her dad is in the hospital lying in coma. Our circle is broken. I don't want to be part of anything. Okay? Who knows who is next? Please, I am going home. Nathaniel, you disappointed us all. Let me be. Apa, um, Richie. Rich. Jake, you and I were assigned to a case, and you carried out an investigation without letting me in? You trained Dr. Maya without letting me in! This is my case. You're just assisting me. Assisting? You call my efforts and all my imputes a mere just? You told me you wanted to stay and work, not knowing you wanted to trade Dr. Mayer. I actually trained Dr. Mayer when we went for dinner and met up with you at the office. However, I said I was going to stay behind so I could trail you. Trail me? Yes. I noticed the way you panicked when I asked Dr. Mayer to run the drug test. And when he was about announcing the results, you panicked even more. So I suspected something and followed you last night. We need to tomorrow morning. All right. Good night. Good night. Hello, officer, meet me in my office immediately. I have a job for you. Good. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Oh, you. Tonight? I mean, it's late already now. Can't we leave it tomorrow? Okay, it's fine. Send me the address. Send me the address. I have the picture of Dr. Maya and Anne. Good job. Send them to my phone immediately. Definitely, sir. And please remember, this is between you and I. Hope you know that. 
All right, sir. Yes, sir. All right. You did what? You sent a junior officer to run intel on me? I had to. I was becoming suspicious of your every move. Firstly, you brought a bottle of water and gave to her dad that was never in the fridge in the office. And when her dad drank that bottle of water, she sneezed and after sneezing, she was never herself again. Secondly, you made sure you personally bought her food. And whenever she eats that food, she sleeps off. Just like the day we arrested the principal on coal. You stopped by the pharmacy to get some drugs. The question is, what drugs were you buying? So I did something. I also excavated remnants of the food you brought for her. I took them to the medical laboratory. A test was run. And the test results showed that huge dose of benzodiazepine and anticholinergic drugs were in that food and other hard substances capable of triggering retrograde amnesia. That was why I charged Dr. Mayer for lying and deceiving us. I never asked for your assistance. You showed up from nowhere and said you were assigned to assist me. Who are you, Annie? Who are you working for? On whose side are you? <laughs> you better start talking now, else I get you arrested. Nice speech. Maybe you should be heading to the appropriate quarters, like NAPDAC and SON, to report a case of negligence and food contamination. Instead of blabbing here, it was in your presence that I opened that water. And it was in your presence that I bought that food. So what are you saying? On the issue of the pharmacy, remember the other day I told you I, I, I have an uh, issue of high blood pressure? That was when we went to get um, the medications for the treatment. And lastly, the chief in command personally assigned me to this case in order to put an eye on you because you know how sometimes you can go out of line. Speak of the devil. Hello? Chief, sir. Yes, sir. I am. Um, we are in the office. Yes, sir. We are still on the case. Oh, no. We are. No, sir. S but, sir, we are still on the case. No, I'm not trying to argue with you, sir. What? Noted, sir. What is it? The boss said we should release the principal, her students, and everyone connected to the case. Just like that. has just been dismissed. How true is that, sir? We heard she's back in school. Is it true? So she's really the supreme mother of the dear mother court. Why the student release her views? We need a comment on this, sir. Sir? Let us talk Any comments, sir? A teacher, a student, somebody, anybody. Sir? The principal, sir. 
Respond, respond to us. Respond to us. Please respond to us. Please say something, sir. Here. Yeah. Dear mother girls. Um, wait. Nobody knows her whereabouts yet. Nobody. You mean the charges against the principal and the girls have been dropped? Hey no. Can't you see them? It's all over the airwaves. Don't you listen to news? What news? Is there any good news out of this country? Wallahi, if it is not banditry, it is the EFCC following politicians for stealing billions of dollars. Politicians like your father, right? <laughs> <laughs> How about Ben? This is a very serious matter here. And we need to be serious. <sighs> Mira would have been the right person to tell us what really happened to her. So that settled a lot of scores. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, that was why I begged my uncle to keep her alive and healthy. Now, Mira is missing, and Ada is in another world in the hospital. There will always be a way. Go to your class. But keep your head down. I'm sure they must have marked your face. Okay. But don't worry, we've got your back. Don't worry, you can go. Wallahi, we will fight them. We will fight them. Anyhow they want it. Power for power. Authority for authority. Position with position. Connection with connection. Are they the only ones that have connection? We will let them know that we too have people in position of authority. Yes. Banza yes. Kowal. So guys, like, so nobody knows where she is, do you know? Nobody knows. How wonder she'll never end. Good. Guys. What's happening now? Are we no longer friends? Friend that keeps secrets from friends is no friend of mine. Oh, yes. She should have told us long ago. Is the press. Send the messages. Supreme Mother. Worthy daughter, you have made this house proud. You have played the game so well. Well done. I will only allow you access to any of my students on one condition. Which is? That teacher Jelly here must be around during the termination. That is if I'm indisposed. But Ma, that is against the ethics and profession of our... Don't deal. So who do you say you want to speak to? We would like to see her there now, but just leave the rest. Jelly? Yes, Ma. Fetch her. Um, I'll go with her.
running mate. I hope you know why you are assigned to this case. Of course. And I am doing my job perfectly well. But by the time I am done with that little rat, Jake, he will regret taking up this case. And Ada, I had it on good authority that she has told a few of her classmates about the Dear Mother Club. And they are planning to go to the police. I hope you know what to do when they eventually comes to you. Sure. Her mother already reported the medical case. And I will do the needful with the drugs that will trigger the DID. I will stop by a nearby pharmacy and get the drugs. I will inject it into her water and food. By the time she wakes up, she wouldn't be able to remember anything she said. And the doctor's report would corroborate the fact that whatever she must have said is unrealistic. By that time, nobody will believe anything she said. All eyes will be against her. Good. Now let's pretend to go look for her. Your job is half done. We are aware that the detective Jeff is trailing you. But you have to complete what you have started, dear daughter of this great house. Jake has touched the tail of the tiger. So he must be ready to dance with the tiger. Tonight, there will be a meeting with the ruling class. And you must be there. Yes, Supreme Mother. Hello, Mira, my dear friend. I will nurse you back to life. And we shall take what you have taken away from us. I know you'll be willing when the time comes. Sure. Sure, Ma. She's finally awake. Let's the game begin. Okay. 